Hey guys, today we are going to learn about cloud formation. So basically, I will be giving a brief overview of cloud formation before actually implementing different kinds of code. Okay, so the first thing is what is cloud formation? Cloud formation is a platform which is provided by AWS to implement infrastructure as a code. Okay, so it is nothing but a platform that provides us with a facility of IAC that is infrastructure as a code. Now, what is infrastructure as a code? So basically, infrastructure as a code is nothing but an approach through which you can provision and manage your infrastructure with the help of code. Right. So what actually we did, did up till now was that we were doing manual work, right? We were manually creating those instances. Then we also manually set up the code pipeline. Nothing was automated as such, right? So manual work is tough to reproduce from scratch. Likewise, if in within your organization, if you have created few EC2 instances and installed few things over it okay now if someone comes and unknowingly it he or she deletes the whole infrastructure then what you'll have to do is you have to rework on it and start everything from scratch again in which you may do some mistakes and it will also be very tedious task to do the repeated work right so in order to avoid that what we are doing is for because of which we are using infrastructure as a code also it is very much difficult to produce changes in another region in another account and same account if unwanted deletion of resources occur so it is it would be great if you just have to run a code and all the resources will get provision over there. So code would deploy and do all the changes by creating, updating and deleting our infrastructure. Now the next thing is, what is AWS cloud formation? Right. So again, it is a service that helps you model and set up your AWS resources so that you can spend less time managing those resources and focus more on applications that run in AWS in managing those applications. You don't have to look on unnecessary part, right? You don't have to put your energy to a tedious work which can be done easily within few minutes with cloud formation. So for example, I have considered here, right? If you can create a template that describes all the AWS resources that you want. Okay. For example, Amazon EC2 instances or Amazon RDS, RDB instances. So provisions and configures the resources for you, right? Now the next thing is, what are the benefits of cloud formation of course i mentioned them it has got it is it will simplify your infrastructure not only simplify your infrastructure but most importantly it is going to simplify your work and um you know systematicity or productivity will of course improve with it quickly replicate your infrastructure your infrastructure can be quickly replicated within few minutes, whereas it may take hours and hours of hard work for you to replicate without cloud formation, right? Like using the manual approach. So it is easily control and it easily controls and tracks the changes to your infrastructure. Also the tracking can be done properly. Also if um, one of the um, instances, it becomes, um it terminates okay then you immediately get to know with the help of cloud formation 
right each resource within the stack is stacked with an identifier so you can easily interpret the costs so before actually implementing your cloud formation or uh, provisioning your infrastructure we first get to know how much costs can be um, or need to be invested in it so that accordingly we can uh, plan our infrastructure so hence you can estimate costs using the cloud formation definitely the next thing is that what are the aws cloud formation concepts when you use aws cloud formation you work with templates as well as stacks you create templates to describe your aws resources and their properties okay so we work with templates over here and these templates are json or yaml formatted files okay these are nothing but the blueprints for building your aws resources they act as a blueprint over here which you can directly use or make some changes and then use them okay then we have got stacks stack is nothing but a single unit okay it is using cloud formation we can manage related resources as a single unit called a stack so this is it and you can you create update and delete a collection of resources by creating updating and deleting the stacks okay and after doing this what you right so the next thing is change sets you can also implement change sets using aws cloud formation now what are change sets now that you are you have deleted few things or if you want to update your stack okay you can directly uh, change your stack you will first provision you will first try to check whether it is actually working or not so with the help of change sets we can check it before actually deploying those changes now the thing is how cloud formation works templates of the cloud formation are uploaded in s3 and then referenced in cloud formation to update the template we ca can't reuse the previous ones we have to again each time we upload a new version of template we'll have to use new version we can't update the same template okay deleting a stack deletes every single artifact that is created using cloud formation so yeah that's it for this lecture hope you understood the things in a better way please like share and subscribe the channel if you really love the video also don't forget to press that bell icon so for getting all the new updates so thank you so much and have a nice day bye bye